Hi, this is episode 13 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. On Wednesdays, I cover a random topic that relates to developers. And today I'm gonna to talk about some of the top development books that I've read through the years that have helped me grow as a programmer. Considering that there are literally thousands of languages and frameworks out there, it wouldn't be very practical for me to create a book list on a single language or topic, and uh, mainly because, for, take for example me. I work in Ruby every day. One of my favorite books is David Black's The Well-Grounded Rubyist. I think it's a fantastic book. It would have no application to you at all if you're a C-sharp developer or a PHP developer or something like that. So it, that really wouldn't be a good video, I don't think. So instead what I'm doing and what the list I've put together is, is a list of books that works regardless of what language or framework that you work in on a daily basis or that you want to learn. They're from computer scientists. They're from people that can show you how to practically build projects in a very elegant way, how to learn how to become a better developer, how to learn how to really focus your craft and become the best programmer that you can be. The first book is So Good They Can't Ignore You, Why Skills Trump Passion in the Quest for Work You Love by Cal Newport. Newport is one of my favorite writers. With his experience as a computer scientist, he does a great job of combining research with real world application. In this book, he discusses how the true path to fulfillment is not following your passion, but instead focusing on becoming the very best at whatever you do, and he gives practical recommendations and examples for how you can accomplish it. The next book is The Originals, How Nonconformists Move the World by Adam Grant. The COO of Facebook wrote the foreword for this book and walks through examples of people who challenge the status quo and change the face of the technology world. Grant uses practical examples to illustrate the character traits of tech leaders great and small. He also does a great job of picking out details of people's lives that I hadn't noticed before. Another Cal Newport book, Deep Work, is the next one on the list. Newport's a computer science professor at Georgetown University, and his experience as a teacher really shines through in this book. Throughout the book, he gives practical advice on how to become an expert at any task you're willing to be diligent with. He also backs up his strategies with real-world examples and research. Next one on the list is The Innovators, How a Group of Hackers, Geniuses, and Geeks Created the Digital Revolution by Walter Isaacson. I think I went through this book in about three days. It was absolutely riveting, starting a few hundred years ago with Ada Lovelace and going through modern technology times. Isaacson gives a mini biography on the individuals involved in ushering in the technological revolution. As a developer, it was inspiring and insightful to hear all the stories about the people who built the systems that I work on each day. Last on this list is Sprint, How to Solve Big Problems and Test New Ideas in Just Five Days by Googler Jake Knapp. There are countless times when I get stuck on a big feature for an application, and this book does a great job in giving practical systems for building significant features in a very short period of time. The strategies revolve around a high level of focus on a single task and having a structured product development plan. I really like this book because of the level of granularity it gets down to. It really helps you build a true plan, even down to the type of clock that you should use and how many whiteboards you should have in order to build a product properly. As you may have noticed, there's a common theme in each one of those books. They're really focused on being able to get a drill down on how to learn a topic in programming as well as humanly possible, how to become one of the best in your field at that, and practical ways, examples, and case studies on how you can do it along with a great set of systems and strategies that other people have already put in place that you can follow and become the best type of developer you can be.